Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do my just like a realistic morning routine because I feel like I I kind of show you half but I don't show you a lot because my all mornings are always so rushed and hectic and I don't really have a set routine I kind of just have to do what I gotta do so I've woken up this morning and I'm going to meet my uni friend on campus um, and do some work and then I'm gonna go to the library kind of like this morning I've woken up too late so I can't go to the gym so that's like the reality of it but first thing I'm gonna do is go in the shower and do my skincare maybe we should go speak to Maddie before a very essential part I literally look like Lord Farquhar with this hair I literally need to pull it out <laughs> I literally what the hell, what the hell? Uh, an essential part of my morning routine, guys, is coming to see Mel Rosem in bed. Maddie will wake up a whole, maybe two hours after me. What do you think? So I will, I will knock on her door and I'll peep in to see if she's awake. And you're awake today. So come say hi. Am I dressing up? We just kind of sit here and we just kind of debrief the night before. If anything's happened while we've been asleep, if anything's ha been happening, you know, we come and sit here and we chat about it. Anything been happening when I was asleep? Nothing. Nothing special. Nothing special? No. Nothing special. Nothing that you need to tell me about? No. Okay. But what are we doing today? So I think I'm going to go meet my uni friend for a coffee and then we're going to go to the library because I've actually got so much work to do. And basically, I was supposed to have a dissertation meeting, but I've cancelled it because I just haven't done enough work for my dissertation. And then I'm, I don't want to go to him and literally tell him I've done no work. And then he's going to be like, well, why have you come to me? So I just emailed him yesterday, like, I need to push it back a week because I'm, I haven't got anything. And I, I won't be able to speak to him. So I pushed it back a week. So we're just going to go to Central Library, I think. And... Yeah, and then Maz has got work tonight. Woo! Really fun. Last night we actually went bowling. So fun. Because we went to Tempin Bowling in Printworks. And, like, they have bowling and they also have, like, arcade games. It was literally so much fun. Literally so much fun. Like, you have to go there. Okay. I'm going to have a shower now. <sighs> and then get ready for the day. Are we ready? Zing! I have a package coming today. I treat myself and order some clothes, so... I don't know if that will come in time to wear a new library fit. Let's hope so. Okay, I'm gonna get in the shower. See you later. Get up now! We're going library! I get up! What? You liar! I had a little last Get up. <laughs> Are you filming me? No, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> when I half swipe, my message is I always I thought she was phone. filming me. Anyway, let me wake you up. Wake up. Let me open these. Do you want these open? I don't think it really makes a difference. Do you want them open? I'll help you look. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day in Manchester. Beautiful. Oh. There we go. Also, guys, everyone always asks me where this door goes to. Because we've got one in the living room, in Maddie's room. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Whoa. Basically... It's just our window. It's just our window. So we'll open this and this is like gaps, like oh, and that's just our window. This is how we get fresh air into the apartment. It's just sort of really big window, which is beautiful. But yeah, they've kind of done it like a door. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. I think, like right that. So yeah, that's where the door leads to. There's no secret balcony. Someone thought we had a secret balcony. No, there's no secret balcony. That'd be too high. Yeah, that'd be way too high. Okay, I'm just gonna get ready in Maddie's bathroom today because she has better light. So first thing I'm gonna do is my skincare. This is literally what I've been living out of for the past two weeks. This is from Primark and it's really cute. 
Um, so yeah. Basically, I haven't worn my retainers in literally about about a week maybe, and I wore them for the first time last night. My teeth hurt so bad because I think they're like moving back into place, and oh my god, I've got like the worst toothache. I literally don't know if I'm gonna be able to like bite down on anything. It hurts so bad. Literally, could only like muster up that much because I've run out. But yeah, I'm so, so hungry. Yeah, I've just had like literally the busiest two weeks of my life. Like uni has taken a back burner massively. Oh, I've got, got some more. Uni's taken a big back burner, like my dissertation, like upcoming assignments have just literally been put on the back burner because I've just been running around like an absolute, absolute headless chicken. And I kind of need to just get back into my routine because I've massively fallen off it. Like during my exams, like I didn't really go to the gym and then after my exams, I got so ill. Literally I was ill for about two weeks and then I didn't go to the gym. So I just, I've really fallen off it and I don't feel like myself myself because I've lacked in my routine. So this is me, this is the start of my routine again. Can we just do it? Thanks for product that I've absolutely been fucking loving at the moment. So I was on TikTok and this girl was like, how to get glass skin? And it was this product and yeah. So I bought it. I bought it on Look Fantastic actually. It's like a gel. It's really nice. Have you got any moisturizer in this bathroom? I don't know why it's in here. Got my Nivea cream. This shit is literally £2 and it's so good. Oh. Alexa, can you put Jasmine's on? Oh, Alexa, can you put Jasmine's on? Put what on? I'm going to say Jasmine's on. Jasmine's on Amazon. Alexa. Oh, Alexa, buy one. How have you all been? I've just been chronically stressed about uni, really. I had a mental breakdown on Sunday about my dissertation um so i've got a dissertation meeting tomorrow and i'm really scared to see him because i've literally done nothing and he's gonna be like why have you not done anything and i'm gonna be like well because i had my fucking exams like ch like chill out but i've emailed the history office and i'm like when do i get my exam grades back and they didn't reply to me so hopefully i know today when i get my grades back because we're going to have a little viewing party, me and Maddie, to see what we get. What are we doing? I said, when I get my grades, my exam, like we'll have like a, a little sit down viewing party and I'll open I grades. I get mine next week. <gasps> I, I got one of them back and I was fine. Okay. Get up first. <laughs> but I still got three more to, well, two more to look at. You got this. Mm. Oh. E. What are you singing? What are you singing? We've literally lost all our hairbrushes. I don't know if I bring Why them. Why is that hairbrushes? I don't know. I, have <laughs> I can only find this. <laughs> what the I fuck? I can only find the tiny one. Like, where's the big one? What, in the, vic what in the Victorian child is this called? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's the curls one. We have curls and bushes too. Yeah, but to be fair, it's kind of working. I just got out of the shower. Just brushing my hair before we make some breakfast. Yeah, join the club, man. I need to unpack. Ow. What are you singing? Where are you? Oh. Can't see you, can't see you. <gasps> Is my phone in here? What's up? Yes. 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 We found a hairbrush. Where's my phone? I don't know. Phone. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> it's 11 11. <gasps> Make a wish. Make a wish. I'm making a wish. Okay, I made a wish. I did. Guys, look how, look how annoying these mirrors are. Right, the camera is my height, yeah? Look, I'm just walking at the mirror. I can't even see my head. This is how much of my head I can see. I can literally see just like the top of my eyebrows. It's really sabotage. Just had a shower, now it's breakfast time, and Matt says the eggs are out of date. So, what you do, well, let's see if these eggs will float or if they sink. I don't know. I can't remember the rule. I think it's if they float, 
If they sink, they're bad. If they float, they're good. If they no, if they sink, they, they're bad. Have a check. Yeah, just have a quick Google. Alexa, what is the test to make sure if the eggs are gone off are still good? Why is it the accent all the time? According to an Alexa answers contributor, you can check if an egg has gone off by floating the egg in water. A bad egg will float as it has absorbed air. Another way is to break the egg in a saucer. Okay, Alexa, stop. Okay, so if it floats, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh. That one's good. Okay, we've got the eggs boiling. Got the sausages on in here. And I was keeping an eye on that. Um, usually I have these like Vita thins with them, whatever. But I kind of like rye bread with it. But the one I bought is actually kind of gross. Where is it? Compared to the one at home, this one is like not actually that nice. It's this one. Uh, like it's actually not that nice. It's not like proper rye bread. Maybe I'll just do the thins. Yeah, I'll do the thins today, but I've run out. So mum bought me some more, let me show you. Mum bought me another packet. Bro, I'm gonna have them. Do you want some of these cracker things? No, I'm good, I'm making it up. You have a bagel? Okay. Another essential part of my daily routine is taking my rituals, essential for women, 80 multivitamin. These are literally the best. If you've been following me, I've been taking these literally since like October last year and I just like to have them as part of my daily routine. I like to have a multivitamin because they contain like nine nutrients that like you can't usually get in food. So it takes out the guesswork of like whatever you need, like all your vitamin C, blah, blah. Like this literally just takes the guesswork out of it and it's all in one, which is what I like. So I take two capsules every single day and I like these because they taste like mint. I like minty. I think they're really good for your foundational health. They support your brain health and your bone health. If you feel like you need you need to be taking a vitamin in your life, I do have a code for rituals. It's Lydia BZ20. Oh, the time's going off. Lydia Lydia BZ20 gets you 20% off. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the most chaotic. This is the most chaotic. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was just saying, I was just saying, if you're interested in taking a multivitamin, I do have a code for rituals. It's LydiaBZ20. It's your 20% off your first month and I will leave a link in the description for you all. If you just want to improve your health and start taking a multivitamin, because I just think they're so important. So yeah, let's get on with the video. We've got our egg cups. We've got our egg cups. I bought these from Amazon, how fucking cute. Put them in your egg cups because you use egg cups while I don't. Do you not? No. Okay. Look how cute this egg cup is. Oh my god, this is coming real hot. Look! She is adorable. Oh, that is fucking hot, that. Ow, ow, ow. Unicorn! Unicorn eggs! This is kind of our favourite breakfast. So I have these rye crackers of eggs. Two sausages, and then I just kind of eat this. It's like the weirdest breakfast, but we've not stopped eating this for like two months. It's, it's so, so good. These crackers are so good. My teeth still really hurt. That really hurts to bite down. So I haven't got my, I haven't got my retainers. I've got it. Where are they? At home. Get them just get your mum to post them. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to Bold Street Coffee on campus and it's literally the cutest coffee shop. It is a little bit overpriced, I would say, but the brownies oh, are so good. The brownies and a little coffee, I think, is what I'm feeling today. Um 
But yeah, I gotta get ready real quick. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but that is another problem for 10 minutes. Meet my uni friend, and then I'm gonna go to the library with Mads. Um, I don't actually know what work I'm going to do. I think I just literally need... I think I'm going to do some work for my seminar tomorrow because, I have good news, the strike has been cancelled. If you've seen my last vlog, you know I would have been absolutely just like in a tizzy about what I'm going to do because I, I wouldn't have had a seminar for like five weeks and the assignment was due in like during those five weeks. So I literally wouldn't... I would literally be doing an assignment with no teaching. So it was really sending me, but she emailed us all a couple of days ago and said that the strikes this week and next week have been cancelled, so they're back on. So I'm going back in on Thursday, and I literally have done no work for that module because obviously she's been on strike and I've had other shit to do. So I kind of need to catch up on her module a bit and actually have something ready for when I go in. Because it starts at 9am tomorrow, which is great. So maybe I'll do a bit of that and a bit of disc work. Because we love disc. We love disc work. Put a little bit of concealer on. My disc is not going too well, I'm not going to lie to you. But I really just don't want to talk about it. Because it stresses me out so much. Like, I'm just getting really stressed and... I just need to get, I just need to get back on my shit. But I'm anxiously awaiting my uh, exam grades. Like I literally really don't know what I've got. And I emailed the office, like, hi, like when do we get our grades back? And they've literally not replied to me. So how am I supposed to know if I've done well or not? So I'm like anxiously awaiting them as well. And I think, oh, I just really wanna know. I just really wanna know. I hope it's in the next like a week or so. Because I think it's been about a month since I've submitted them, so hopefully they should be marked by now. It literally, it usually takes them about three weeks, so I'm hoping to get them back soon. You know what I was thinking last night? Do you remember when I was really on my F45 grind? I was really enjoying it and I literally go three, four times a week, but obviously when it hits summer, and we moved back home, I kind of, I stopped going, because obviously I wasn't, wasn't in Manchester anymore. Um, and I actually really missed it. Like I was looking um, at old pictures yesterday of when I used to go, and then I used to just feel really good, and it only used to be 45 minutes, and yeah, it used to be really good. So I think I'm gonna go back um, just like twice a week, because I really enjoyed it, and I actually really miss it. And the trainers at the F45 I go to are really sweet and encouraging, and I just used to have a good time, so I think I'm gonna go back to that. But I've seen a new like workout place called Tribe in Deansgate, which I've I've heard really good things about. Apparently, it's not as intense as like a Barry's workout. It's quite nice, so I need to try there as well. I just get um I just get anxious trying new workout places because it's just awkward. Like I just find it awkward when I go in there and I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like where do you go? Like where's the changing rooms? Like how like how does it work? Like I just get really anxious and overthink. But maybe if I take Maddie with me um, for the first time, I'll be okay, I think. My camera died when I was doing my makeup, but this is sort of what I do every day really. This is sort of my everyday makeup. But I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna put on an outfit. Which has Pilates on it from PLT, it's really cute. And then I'll just show you what I've got on. And then I've got some like Brandy Melville we still got a little library on our desk and I need to take them back to the library. They've literally been like, you need to take back these library books or you will lose access to the library. And I'm like, girl, you know how many books there is? How am I supposed to transport them? This is a hoodie. Pilates. It's like this really nice buttery, sort of like yellow colour. It's kind of one of my favourite colours, so I really like it. I've got the matching joggers, but they're a bit big, so I'm going to have to send them back and get a smaller size. But it's really cute. Um, skimming library skipping library and then maybe I'll put my UGG let me see if I can find them are you ready? maybe I, this is our shoe rack like do I put like them on or do I put oh I love these I got these for Christmas I haven't even worn them yet okay I'll wear them my room is the getting ready room it is using a little straighteners what are you going to wear what you got on so cute I've got brandy I'm head to toe brandy so am I brandy oh. 
Yeah. We love Brandy Melville. We want one to open in Manchester. Why wouldn't they open one in Manchester? They, they have so many money. in London. Yeah, take all my money. Like, please, open. like, I will go there every single day. I love Brandy Melville. Literally. Their basics are just. So I would get a job good. there. I would hundred percent get a job there. <gasps> Oh my, oh my god. god, then you could live out your California yeah. dream of yeah. being a brandy girl. Brandy, I need to get my socks on. And then we'll go I'm to the library. To Why? Had you had what? Had you had a what? Had a you had a what? <laughs> you had a what? You had a what? A croissant. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we're off. These are our outfits. We're going to the library. I really like this hoodie actually. It's really cute. Can do some big work in our third year. And library is our second home now. Let's get it. Do you want a matcha? Yes, yeah. I'm on my hot girl matcha shirt. Hot matcha is the best matcha. I was driving home the other day and I went through drive through Starbucks. And I said, hi, can I have a matcha? And they gave me a hot one. I don't know if I said iced or I don't well, know if got, I said iced and they got it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Or um I don't know if I just forgot to say iced or it was just a happy accident, but it was really, really, really delicious. I'll put the heat in on for you. Yeah, thank you. It was really delicious and then I had another one yesterday and it's literally the nicest thing ever. Because with the ice ones they put so much ice in it that it like melts. And like the matcha becomes like watery. Mm. So I'm on my hot matcha girl shit at the moment. So I'm gonna get one. And maybe a lemon loaf. Cause that's like core. You know I'm studying if I've got a matcha and a lemon loaf in my hand, don't you? <laughs> you <don't. laughs> that was like my exam revision like snack. Don't forget jam. Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna get a hot matcha. Maybe not a lemon loaf today, I'm not hungry. Quite a big breakfast. Hi, can I just have a medium um, matcha latte with vanilla to take out, please? Yes, uh, anything else? No, that's it. What's your name? Lydia. Uh, four, six, seven. Thank you. Also, this is a reminder that I do have a code for rituals. It's Lydia BZ20 for 20% off your first month. If you fancy taking a multivitamin or you just want to improve your health a little bit, then I really do recommend taking one. So I'll leave a link in the description for you all to have a look. I'm going to leave the vlog here because we're going to go and study. Cheers. But thanks for watching my morning routine. See you bitches later. Bye. <laughs>